Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's bright and early this side and I don't want to hear anyone moaning and saying that 9 o'clock isn't early. This time it's actually 7.30. We are about to make some coffee because as you all know, we need our coffee and then we're going to start our day. back to Clanmont with the bed. My parents are ahead of us in their car with trailer in tow and the mattress is on board. Um, just one thing, if you're ever moving a mattress on a trailer, remember the power of lift because we were traveling behind and we just noticed the, the top mattress starting to move in the wind a little bit and thought there's no ways that they're getting all the way back to Clanmont without that coming off. And uh, Tali and I had an experience a little while ago where we put a mattress on top of, oh, well, onto a trailer and it actually did come off on the freeway, which was just a little bit nerve-wracking. I might have lost the plot just a little bit. Tali was very calm as usual and I, I wasn't so calm. I just imagined people driving into a death and destruction. But um, as it turned out, it was all okay. We managed to take the mattress from off the N1 and put it on back onto the car and tie it down, well onto the trailer and tie it down securely. So all is good. So when we were watching the, it do its little lift in front of us on my folks trailer, I just thought, hmm, I just don't need a repeat of that ever again. So we tied it down properly and it's not moving at all now. So we're all good. I think we tied that on there pretty well. Almost home and as a nice surprise for my dad who loves fish and chips we're gonna stop here and get some we actually phoned 10 minutes ago and we placed our order and we're just gonna stop sneakily behind them and go and get some fish and chips and then and have that for lunch today right so we have the bed in our room the two bases with the mattress we now need to take this bed out and replace it with this bed over here and Boris says he will help us those 18 papayas, they are gone. Gone, gone, gone. So we just went to fruit and veg now to go and get some more. Unfortunately, the special is over, so we couldn't get as many for the same price, but we got a few for our morning smoothies. But while I was busy paying, Talia snuck off and got us a smoothie, and today we are trying something completely different, which is a peanut butter smoothie. So it has banana, peanut butter, and honey, and then ice cream. And let me tell you, this is amazing. When they were putting the peanut butter in, Talia thought that amount of peanut butter is not going to be enough to make it taste like peanut butter, but it is absolutely perfect. So there's something for people that love smoothies. Try some yogurt or some ice cream, peanut butter, banana, and honey, and you have got a winner. Patty. Patty. You okay? If you ever buy a bed and you're thinking about getting a box night frill, for those of you that don't know what a night frill is, it's the thing that goes over the base of the bed. We walked into a shop today because obviously we don't have one for a king size bed. Our previous bed was a queen size. The lady at the shop said, instead of buying a box night frill, why don't you just buy a fitted sheet? Because then it doesn't ever move and it doesn't come loose as boxed night frills tend to do because they're not linked all the way around. So, there is your tip for the day. Never say we don't give you anything. We've just given you great free advice. If you go and buy a bed, do not buy a box night frill. Do buy another fitted sheet and put that over the bottom base. This chicken looks foul. <laughs> okay, so what are we up to here? So, I've basically taken kebabs and I've deconstructed them 
The sauce that's on them is really, really nice. Look at me, I'm talking like I'm some sort of a chef. Don't take my advice, people. Do not listen to me, I'm not good at this. But I've taken a kebab, or well, three of them, and I've deconstructed them, and I'm gonna take the roast vegetables that are right over there, which is basically just little baby onions and normal mixed vegetables for roasting. And I throw them all together, chuck it in the oven for a little bit, and hopefully, it'll come out tasting nice, and that will be dinner tonight. If it doesn't taste good, we may be phoning Andre the pizza guy. You won't see my face again because we are done. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. And this one might sneak on too? Yes. All done. Bye.